Hello, welcome. My name is Shakira Sergis and I run a blog called Miss Simple Living and today I have with me a special guest, Ingrid Jensen from Organise Your House, who is also the president of the Association of Professional Declutterers and Organisers. Welcome Ingrid. Thank you Shakira, thank you for having me. That's okay. And so my first question for you is, how did you get involved in decluttering? I have a background in um, hotel management, and facilities management, and I've always been very interested in being organized and um, being tidy. And I saw all the TV programs on television, How Clean Is Your House, The House Doctor, and I thought, how amazing is this? And I kind of tried to combine the, the, the things that I really love to do that are my passion, and that's why I started Organize Your House five and a half years ago. Oh, fantastic. And so why do you think it's really important that people do get uh, declutter? Um, I think clutter uh, really makes um, people feel uh, depressed, it, it makes them feel, it doesn't make them feel good about themselves and it really gives a lot of weight on people's shoulders when they have got a lot of clutter in their home. Um, and I've really noticed working with, with so many clients over the last years that once you start decluttering their homes and their lives, they feel better about themselves, they have got less clutter in their head, they sleep better, and of course because they sleep better they can make better decisions, have more energy, so it's a very positive, I think, um, effect uh, when you uh, declutter your house. Oh, fantastic. Um, um, what kind of different types of decluttering do you do? Where, where do you actually work? I mainly work in people's homes, although okay. I could do a small, ho uh, a small uh, business, uh, but I mainly work in homes with people. Um, I can do um, uh, bedrooms, um, living rooms, kitchens, home offices. And do you specialise? Um, yes, I specialise in um, wardrobes, in okay. clothes, um, and yeah. paperwork. Okay. Uh, so very good for home office and setting up a filing system and kitchens. Oh wow, brilliant. Yes. But I mean people can, they also hire me to do their garage or their loft, but mainly it is they first want to get the rest of the house organized and then those kind of big jobs are the last ones on the list. Okay, and so what are your free tips then to kind of help people sort of start decluttering? What are your um, tips? Several tips. Um, okay. If you want to start decluttering by yourself, before you want to hire a professional, start small. Okay. Don't overdo it. Start with a drawer, a chest of drawers, a side cabinet, a, a small area. Um, don't want to tackle a room in, whole, in, in one go if you haven't decluttered in a while. Um, second tip is, if you declutter, try not to bounce from room to room, so stick with the area that you're working on. Of course, if there's dirty plates to be returned to the kitchen, do that to clear the decks so if you've got room to work but then don't get sidetracked by doing the dishes in the kitchen at the okay, same time yeah. um, another tip is um, decide before you start your project where is this stuff going is it going to the charity shop and if yes which charity shop would you prefer to go to is that closed do you need to um, get some special bags uh, for your decluttering project uh, do you need to enlist the help of a friend um, does heavy furniture need to be moved around the house? Can you enlist somebody to help you with that? So think it through a little bit. And That's my a great tip. And uh, thank yeah. you. And my final tip is also um, scarf out time on the day you declutter to take away the stuff to the recycling, to the tip, to the to the to the charity shop, and don't leave it hanging around the house. So <laughs> finish the job, and, yeah. and that will. It, put the bag in the boot of the car to bring to the charity shop the next time you drive past yeah. and and that way will really help to for you to feel a completed feeling about a project okay. but if you find it tricky um, there are professional organizers all over the country so do enlist our help yeah I'm sure and how can people get in touch with you then um, I've got a website called organize hyphen your hyphen house.co.uk um, where you're more than welcome to uh, get in contact with me. I also have a Facebook page where you can message me on and I've got a blog, I've got tips um, and I have a Twitter page called Organize Your House so I do get in touch if you've got any queries and I'm more than happy to help you. Okay, well thank you very much for your tips and advice today. It's been a real you're pleasure talking to you. Thank you so okay. much. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.